Oni of Ife has surprised Queen Naomi again as he has shown his concern towards her by making a move to officially set Queen Naomi free traditionally. When and where do you think this right is going to take place? Stay tuned. Hello my wonderful people. Welcome and welcome back. Please show your support by liking this video. If you've not yet subscribed, please do so now. And for my returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. Remain blessed. Yes, so my wonderful people, this is indeed a great news coming from the only of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Initon Ogunwusi, as he has shown his consent to officially set Queen Naomi free. He's going to do this the traditional way. Now that the only of Ife has finally agreed to set Queen Naomi free, it's indeed a good thing. This shows that he has moved on with his life and has gotten over his estranged wife, Dr. Queen Naomi Shilekola. For the only to conclude on this matter, it shows that he isn't selfish after all like most people would tag him. You know, ever since their separation, or should I say, the marital differences between the only of Ife and Dr. Queen Naomi Shilekola, we have been expecting him to set her free. Most people assume the only to be selfish after he married another wife barely a year after his separation with Queen Naomi Shilekola. Though we know fully well that the only of Ife, Oba Adeyeye Initon Ogunusi, is entitled to marry as many wives as he wants. Well, good and fine. But since he has moved on already and married another queen, the least we expected from him was to free Queen Naomi Shinekola because if he doesn't do so, then it will be a problem for Queen Naomi to marry ever again. Well, I know you will be curious about what concerns Oni or Fifi with Queen Naomi if she wishes to marry another man. Well, it's not that easy, but it's something that must be done traditionally to cut all ties Queen Naomi has with the Oni or Fifi. And this involves a ritual. Here is why she must be set free by the all new of Ife. Dr. Queen Naomi Shilekola was married and is still married to the most powerful king in Yoruba land till the only decides to set her free. Well, according to the Yoruba culture, anybody married to a king in Yoruba land will never marry or sleep with another man till the king decides to cut their ties traditionally or else big trouble will fall on them. Even if death of such king occurs, the wife can only be able to marry another king, not just any normal person. That is after some rites has been performed. So any normal person that marries or sleep with the king's wife, whether the king is dead or alive, he has brought upon himself a cause which will probably lead to his premature death. So now you know why it is indeed necessary for Queen Naomi to be set free by the Oni of Ife. I'm really happy that the Oni of Ife has decided on doing the honors of freeing Queen Naomi Shinekola. I'm so glad that he paid attention to our plea on letting Queen Naomi go. It's really funny when I hear people advising that Queen Naomi should go and marry another man, that she's a prophetess, that no harm will come to her if she marries or sleeps with another man. Hmm. Like seriously, she may be a prophetess and it's okay to say that she doesn't have anything to do with the ritual since she's an evangelist. But Queen Naomi knew about this. She knew about this tradition before she agreed to marry the only of Fifi. She knew that she was an evangelist and yet she accepted the oath she took on not marrying another man. She took this oath. They did this ritual when she was ushered in as the queen. So why, why would she refuse to do so? Why would she refuse to break that oath now? So now that she's no longer with the only of Ife, this ritual is the best option for her because this ritual will undo the first oath she took when she was first ushered into the palace as Olori. This is tradition. The same rite was performed to free Oni's ex-queen, Zena Burola. If not, she wouldn't have gotten married to her new husband, the Arabian prince. 
So it shouldn't be any difference with Queen Naomi. I believe she knows what has to be done. Hello guys, I am so glad to have you in TVN TV channel. I'm so happy that you've been supporting me and thank you so much for watching this far. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. See you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.